Hi, my name is Maria, and I work for the Census Bureau Center for Enterprise Dissemination. Over the last year, we have recorded your feedback on accessing data on data.census.gov and have designed new navigation based on the comments that you, our data users, have provided. We hope that this more user-friendly design will address some of the concerns our users have brought to our attention. So let's take a look at some of these navigational changes. We want to start by opening up our site at data.census.gov. We plan to update the landing page in a future release, but right now it is unchanged. Our landing page starts with an initial decision whether you want to use the single search bar or select the filters you need in our advanced search. For this first example, I'm going to use our single search bar here to show you some of our new features. I want to find a table on income for Sacramento County, California. So I'll type income Sacramento County, California into the single search bar and press the search button here. Immediately, you see that there are several panels now exposed that were hidden before that allow you to see how your search is categorized. Here, we can see that there are two filter chips added to this new layout, which are the income topics filter and the Sacramento County, California geography filter. As you can see, these filters are color coded. If we click on the question mark icon located right above the filter chips, we can see the type of filter that is represented by each color, as well as the distinction between filter actions. Filter labels with a lock icon in them signify that those filters were added to your query based on the terms you entered into the single search bar. These filters cannot be removed unless you start another search or click the clear all button. Filter labels with a small X in them are ones that you manually add to your search and can be removed at any time. The clear all button clears all of the filters present in your search, regardless of if they are locked or not. Looking at the table results, there are 434 tables returned. If you look at the top of the table list, we have added a choice of numbers of tables to view, 10, 25, or 50 tables at a time. You can also adjust the size of the panel that lists the available tables by clicking and dragging it across the screen to view the names of the tables a little easier. Since 434 is a lot of tables, I want to further refine my search. Because I'm really looking for income for married couple families in Sacramento County, I'm going to add an additional topic of families and living arrangements. To do this, go to the topics filter and then click on the families and living arrangements option. Then select the filter of the same name to add it to your search. The table list will automatically update to account for the new filter that I've added, and now I have 108 tables. The filter panel is collapsible using these chevrons, so from there you can see all the tables associated with your filters. For example, if you want to see the median income of married couple families in Sacramento County, I would take a look at table S1901. If you want to view different years or products for this table, click on the View All 20 Products button. The drop-down will appear that shows all of the one-year and five-year data available for this table. Keep in mind that some tables are only available for the five-year ACS estimates. This is because the one-year estimates are only released for geographies with a population of 65,000 or more. To find data on married couple families, click and drag the scroll bar at the bottom of the table until you reach the married couple families category. If you scroll down the table, you can see that the median income is right here. I also wanted to mention the row of icons across the top of the table. In the previous iteration of our site, these features were only available in our customized table view, but thanks to the feedback our users have provided, we have exposed these features in the initial table view to offer a more convenient and streamlined site experience. Now you can see table notes, add more filters, download or export your table to Excel, transpose your table or restore it to its original format, print your table, or map your table, all from the initial table view. Let's jump into a search for a smaller geography to show some additional improvements. Start a new search by clicking the census logo in the upper left-hand corner of the screen, and then click the advanced search button located directly underneath the single search bar. Our example this time will be looking for educational attainment data for all census tracts in Montgomery County, Alabama. Another big change from our previous layout is in the geography filter which now shows the most commonly used geographies in the boxes at the top of the screen, 
allowing our users to find the most popular geographies more easily. If you know the summary level code for the geography you want to use, you can also click on the summary levels button. And a listed format of all the geographies will appear with their corresponding summary level. But let's go back to the geographic entities view and select our geography from the new default view. So out of the geographies at the top, we'll select tract and then Alabama as our state. Then we'll select Montgomery County. And finally, all census tracts within Montgomery County, Alabama. Now you can click on the breadcrumbs from the last selection made in order to return to the full list of selections and select other counties or states to add to your search. This action may save some time and will allow you to find all the data you need in one complete search. Next, we'll pick our search topic by going to Topics, Education, and selecting Educational Attainment. Once you've selected these filters, click on the search button in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. You can also collapse the filter panel and show the table list in full. I chose table S1501, Educational Attainment. As you can see, there are only 10 products available for this table, since tracks do not meet the threshold for being released for the ACS one-year estimates. Like the filter panel, the results panel can also collapse, allowing for a bigger view of a table. Now I want to show you our new mapping features, which you can explore by clicking on the Maps tab across the top of the page, or by clicking on the Map button located in the ribbon directly above the table view. Once we zoom in on the map, we can see data for all tracks in Montgomery County, Alabama. Like our previous map view, you can see the icons for customizing your map experience, along with a few updated features. The selection tool in particular allows you to add geographies outside of the ones you selected in your initial search. You can do this by clicking the select button and then clicking and dragging across the map. Exiting the selection tool will take you back to the main map menu. I'm just going to deselect these two tracks so we can go back to our all tracks in Montgomery County, Alabama. The dimensions button allows you to select specific variables that are present in the table you choose to view. For example, if I wanted to see the total population of 25 years old and over with a bachelor's degree in this map, I would click the dimensions button and click on the downward facing chevron to view all of the variables. Then scroll down the list or use the search bar to find total age by educational attainment, population 25 years and over, bachelor's degree. Once you select it, the map will automatically update to show the variables applied to the map. You can also choose the base map layout by clicking here, which provides a basic, detailed, or blank option for the map view. These options provide a new way to view and map the data available on our site. We hope that these changes to our search and mapping functionality provides a more user-friendly experience. As we are constantly working to make more improvements to our site, we encourage you to continue sending feedback to our email inbox at census.data at census.gov. For more information, check out our resources page at the link provided below. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to hearing from you.